What's up everyone, Jeremy, MTG Headquarters. So much stuff to open. I have uh, <laughs> my poor little hand, my wizard's hand modeling hands are, well, they're holding up okay, but uh, here is the M14 Deck Builders Toolkit. It's one for, I don't know what the reasoning is, but it's easily one of the most requested products for me to open. And I don't know if that's, you know, because I don't normally open it, but uh, what it includes is 125 semi-randomized cards, four 15-card booster packs from a variety of recent sets. So maybe they do um, randomize that because I saw somebody open it. It didn't even have DGM in it, so I thought that was weird. Comes with 100 lands, a deck builder's guide. So... It is quite literally the perfect thing to get somebody who has very few cards or is brand new to the game. That's, you know, people ask me, should I buy it? Should I buy it? That's the scenario. I mean, you're getting four packs of cards. So if you paid what I paid, I paid like $20. Maybe you get yours a little less. I don't know. But you get a box to carry all your cards in, which is really awesome. With a uh, little well, Chandra there. So you get like $15, $16 in packs. So you're basically paying four bucks for everything else. That helps you break it down. Ooh, did I get an Innistrad pack? Aw, oh, wait. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, man. Yeah, so they're not including DGM in these. That's weird. So uh, for booster packs, I got Return of Ravnica, Gate Crash, M13, and M14. That's what I saw basically everyone else get. So that's probably it. You got a little spacer. Here, you've got your land pack, which is pretty insane. And you've got, I don't know what this is. Let's go ahead and open it. I'm not going to go through every card, but you got like a Transguild Promenade there. Okay, so you've got, all these are uncommons, or most of, oh no, okay. This is by color maybe. This is Simic, green, blue. And then we got another Transguild, then we're on to the black cards. Ooh, Doomblade. Diebok Tutor, Singer Vampires. This is kind of cool. Another Trans Guild. So this is kind of, this is actually pretty convenient. You've got a bunch of M14. Here, you know, here's a Dragon's Maze card on Flinching Courage. Used to be called Armadillo Cloak. It's a little different now. Um, we actually got some fairly decent cards for deck building here. So maybe I will change my opinion. What do we got going on here? Another pack of cards, I assume will be the other colors. Pacifism right on top. Uh, yeah, we got a bunch of pacifisms, all white cards. Commons and uncommons. Sarah Angel, we've got blue, white, blue. Onto black. I'm not sure how these are. Oh, more Doom Blades. And then red. Definitely some good cards, though. I mean,. Put it if like good cards for like a, a sealed pool. No, this one's marked red, so maybe this is like white pack. This is red pack. I'm not totally sure, but uh, I guess for 20 bucks, if you don't have a lot of cards, this is a great value. Um, it's probably even better than a fat pack if you don't have a bunch of cards. Here we're on to looks like red. We got gutter snipes. Where we got red, green. We've got artifacts, more lands. So, actually, not too bad. And you've got your land pack here. I like to save that to bring to um, pre-releases. Then you've got your deck builder's toolkit and then how to play guide. Helpful for, for brand new players, very helpful. And you get this nice little handy dandy box. All right, I'm sold on it. You definitely have you definitely have five dollars worth of extra stuff. Oh wait, here's a white. Did I not open this gold one? Let's open this gold one. I totally missed a pack. Unless these are all lands. Oh, I got tricked. They're all lands. <laughs> uh, I got tricked. Wait, what are these? These I'm gonna open it. Wait, can I not open it? No, I can't see. These are definitely the lands. I'm sure of it. Yep, that's a land pack. Put our little guides in there in case I forget how to play. 
and then the fun stuff. Let's start with the worst and go to the best. And by best, I actually mean Ravnica, Return to Ravnica. Now this just makes it fun. I think this is probably a really good gift item, you know. Um, so we'll go right to the uncommons. Raincore, Crimson Merc Whiter, Volcanic Geyser, that was reprinted M14, and a rare, a Sarah Avenger. The two drop for a 3 3. You can't cast Sarah Avenger during your first, second, or third turns of the game. Flying and Vigilance. Put that right in here for my next giveaway. I'll probably just give away this whole box. And the next one. Oh, I opened Return to Ravnica. So I was so hasty. I opened the best pack right, o right away a second. We got, ooh, we got a foil back there. We have a Golgari Key Rune, Tablet of the Guilds. Soul Sworn Spirit, and our rare Dreadbore. Solid rare. Very solid rare. Probably going up in price around now. We have a Foil and Action Injunction. Dreadbore is very solid rare. Uh, first pickable in draft. Constructed playable. Standard playable. On to Gate Crash. We've got a Foil in here too, I think. Merfolk of the Depths, Demir Kirun, Viashino, Shanktail, and a rare is a Scar Goliath. I actually played this in an event last night, a six-pack sealed event that I took second place in. <laughs> well, probably not second. I wasn't first, and then I lost on the last round, so, yeah. Ooh, we have a foil. Ah, Ooze Flux. Double rare pack, two of the worst rares you could get. Thanks for nothing, Gate Crash, but that's okay. Definitely getting a bunch of cards. And here we are on the newest stuff. M14 with that sweet, sweet angel on the front. Dun, 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 dun. I'm trying to think if I should just like upload all of these at once or span them out. Maybe I'll do like what I did with Modern Masters and say like once I get... That's what I'll do. Once each video gets to 300 likes, I'll upload the next one. So... With Modern Masters, you guys did it so quickly that, you know, we could probably get all these videos up today. All right, first uncommon is Colonian Tusker. Very solid. I don't know if first pickable, but it's extremely high. Enlarge. I'm going to my first M14 draft tonight, actually. Warden of Evos Isle and a rare. Traumatize. <laughs> I love this card. Definitely fun card. Pay five. Target player puts half. His or her library rounded down into the graveyard. Pretty funny. Well, that is the uh, Deck Builder Toolkit. Um, if you guys appreciate all the product openings, uh, it'd be awesome if you just took one second and crushed that like button. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and join one of the fastest growing Magic the Gathering communities on uh, YouTube. I'd really appreciate it. And uh, if you want to chat about anything Magic the Gathering related, please comment down below, and I look forward to chatting with you. Talk to you soon. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Check out some of our most popular playlists, everything from MTG vlogs, gameplay video, new product breaks, and some insane vintage openings. And if you haven't yet, here's your opportunity to crush that subscribe button to join the fastest growing Magic the Gathering channel on YouTube. Thanks again, and we'll see you real soon.